Hello, this is Craig. Let's talk about Mechanim. Mechanim is Unity 4's solution for animation, and I gotta say, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it took me a long time to find a useful tutorial, so I'm gonna post that tutorial's link in the description, and that will teach you how to use it. So, one of the things about Mechanim is that it is supposed to be all about motion capture, uh, but it works fine with non-motion capture animations, uh, and this means that you can do a lot of really easy stuff by animating in Blender. Um, so here I've got uh, a turn right, a, a turn left, and a idle animation all in the idle suite, and I'm using a blend tree to blend between them. I've made the axis really, really washy, so you can see the blending happen. Um, also, the I've only, actually only got two animations. I just mirrored one of the animations, um, which can actually be a nice trick from time to time, but it doesn't doesn't always work out right. In the running, for example, I had to do run left and run right independently. Now, uh, the, the running is really doofy because I was trying to do some IK stuff, some additive IK animations, and it didn't end up working out very well. Um, but the animations, that's fine because this is just to show that it's possible to do this stuff. And this was really easy. Um, aside from all of the time spent on IK, which was about two days, this took me 40 minutes. So, yeah two days to try and figure out how to turn on IK, and 40 minutes to whip up animations like this and put them in a animation system here in Blender, a mechanim system. All in all, I'm very pleased. Um, it's going to make this a lot easier. It's going to make animating human characters a lot easier. One of the major advantages to this is that these can be transferred between human characters because mechanim's system maps them to the bones in the various roles if you get a human with slightly different bone configuration or bone names, Mechanim just flawlessly transfers between them. Which means that if you're buying content from the online store and you buy a human character, you don't have to be limited to animations for that one character. You don't. You no longer have to go into the FVX file and create custom animations for that character with their skeleton. You can import animations from any other character that has been animated or from a dummy character like this. I can use these animations on any humanoid model. Uh, although I wouldn't want to because these animations were whipped up in 40 minutes. Yep, that's it.